Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer. Today is the big news, right? I'm going to talk about the new moon in Taurus on May 15th. I'm going to touch on Monday the 14th. Uranus moves into Taurus. Mars is moving into Aquarius. We have a Mars and Uranus square coming up. Lots of tougher energy right now, but there's also some wonderful benefits. So I'm going to fill you in on all of that. So stay with me and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So boy, <laughs> there's a lot of hype around this new moon coming up because of those other things I mentioned, Uranus moving into Taurus, Mars into Aquarius and all of this other stuff. So really, what does that mean for you and me, honestly? So first off, let's look at the 14th. So Monday, the 14th, the moon in Taurus, this is exalted in the sign. So he loves to be, she, sorry, she, the moon loves to be in the zodiac sign. It is all about persevering and it's about self, um, self-esteem and what it, the things that we love and having patience and endurance. Now the moon is balsamic until it is new. Now we do not have a new moon until, this is Eastern time, 7.48 a.m. on Tuesday. So all of Monday and into till that point on Tuesday, the balsamic moon in Taurus is about really nurturing and taking care of ourselves. Whatever that is for you, depends on where you hold your Taurus energy, right? But whatever that means for you, take care of yourself. It could be that you just give yourself that extra little sweet treat because it's nice to have a dessert once a week or, or you just want that beautiful new outfit or you feel great because you finally got to go get your hair done by somebody besides yourself. These are the things that we can do, caring and nurturing for ourselves during that balsamic lunar phase. It's always balsamic the last 45 degrees before a new moon and people don't pay attention to that very much because they're always so much hype about the new moon and that's fine but take care of yourselves because we have these really harsh aspects once the moon is new so when we have that new moon moving on to the 15th when we have that new moon at 7 48 in the morning east coast time that now we'll set goals relating to the things i just said maybe it is time for you to figure out how is it important for you to take care of yourself better what do you value what are you beautifying now what is important for you i know i've said that like three times already but this is the key focusing in on what you value that is so important because what i value and what's important to me is very different than what's important to other people so focus on what that is and set goals relating to the things that you want to bring into your life that more of that you value. Now, with Uranus entering the sign of Taurus, I have a full class on that on my website and it is an hour and a half. I'll give you the info in the uh, description below. But in the meantime, Uranus out of Aries into Taurus and it's going to be in this sign for almost eight years, actually eight years. Yeah. 2026. And it's going to move back into Aries later in the year when it retrogrades. But for now, as it's moving those two degrees into Taurus, it is an opportunity here with what we think is, is solid and stable. A lot of things are going to be shaking up and breaking up. Again, I did an hour and a half lecture on this, so it's hard to just pin it all in on one little video like this, but I just want you to know we can look at where things are, where we feel solid. There's a lot of things that are starting to shake up for us, all right? And what us means, where it is for you will, dep will depend on what house it's in. But what is breaking down now, if something is starting to break down, this isn't true for everybody, it is meant so we can open up and learn and experience new things because we get stuck in a rut. Everyone gets stuck in a rut and it takes, sometimes it takes a lot of pressure for things to change. And Uranus is about freedom and it is about um, what is unique and different and what is good for, you know, everybody, not just individuals, right? So it's, it's a bit of a rebel 
a lot of a rebel. And in the sign of Taurus, Taurus is what we value, what we love. It's our finances. It's the things that are really earthy and grounded. So of course, we're going to go through some banking issues over the next few years because that's just a normal cycle anyway. So let's not get into panic about it. The earth will go through some changes because that happens a lot too. It has to, it has to adjust. And so wherever this is going on in your life and whatever you feel is shaking things up for you, um, let it happen. So then you can start to find all the really amazing little nuggets in a place where you may have been just super routine all the time. And it will help us to move beyond places of stagnation, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to leave you with that because that's enough for now, for that day. There's always so much more. And I, that's enough for now. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back with the next forecast uh, really soon. Blessings. Namaste.